Hey guys, it's Lindy. I'm going to be doing my makeup tutorial video today. I have to do my makeup anyways for an event, so might as well do it. So, first thing I use, I don't use primer on my face because I'm allergic to, like, everything. I use the Bare Minerals. It usually comes in small. I think this is just, like, their holiday version of it. So, it comes in a bigger thing. Uh, this is the Bare Minerals original foundation and it actually has like so for summertime it has SPF so that's actually good um the color I use is medium 10 that's just my shade that I use because yeah, my skin tone even though it's not actually my skin's not as dark as it as this thing shows but yeah so turn my lights on because I need to get lighting it's gonna be horrible lighting still because my makeup light, my mirror light is like horrible. But yeah. Get the other, that's just water. I'm trying to get a lot of the foundation up. And then the brush I use, yes, it's this. It's just the e.l.f. complexion brush. So I usually get about that much, maybe more. Just blend it all over and like rub it. And as you can see, my acne is like really bad right now, or my skin is really bad, so I'm gonna try to cover it as much as I can. I like to double layer. To get those red spots gone. I'm sorry for that noise, that's just my fan, it just does that. No way to turn it off. Yeah, I'll just rub it. So that cheek's done. You start blending in my neck. Turn my forehead, temple area. Well, that's a lot. I'm sorry, my forehead. And no judging if my brows look horrible, I know I have to get them done. Now here's the other cheek. It looks like I cake it on, but I actually don't. So yeah, I close my eyes and then I'll start, I don't know why. Next step is chin. My chin is my worst problem area, like around my mouth and chin. So yeah, I'm trying to get that. And then just blend, blend, blend. And then I'm gonna do my forehead again because it is a problem area right now. So yeah, I did this cheek again. Yeah. 
I'm trying to not cake my makeup on, but I'm like, yeah. Let's like do it without making it cakey. Because I heard apparently that I don't know if it's true or not, but uh powder foundation can look more cakey than liquid. I'm just looking at myself in here. That looks good. So that. I'm pretty sure I did cake it on because I can feel it. But yeah. Well. I'm just going to blend, blend, blend. There we go. So that's my foundation. The job that I do. This makes sure it blends. And then I use Bare Minerals All Over Face Color Bronzer. And the color I'm using right now is Warmth. I think they changed the colors. <coughs> I don't know. I saw something online. So that the colors change, names or something. I don't know, but like, warmth is the one I used so far until I find out the hard way if I need a new one. I don't find this color. So, yeah. So, I just get on my brush. Do the fish face. What I do is I just do this and then blend it from there. And then I just do up here. That's part I kind of do a little darker just because I like my temples dark. Go for her darker, I don't know. Just do it however you like. That's just how I do it. And I can't use blush because I'm allergic, so I just do whatever. I just try to make my bronzer look darker. That, that, that. And then. I like to do my nose, even though my nose is already like pretty much contoured on its own. Just see how it is. I just like to do this. So that's. I look like before blending. And then the brush I use for that, for my bronzer, I use the bronzing brush by e.l.f. And I think I said the brushes I use in the video before. But yeah. I'm gonna start with my, and then this is my blending brush. It's, it's a total face brush by e.l.f. And I just blend, blend, blend. And if you have a tiny nose like me, you don't really have to like contour your nose. I just do. And I'm not gonna really edit this video. So this is just gonna be like uncut. So yeah. So I just do my forehead, 
nose first, and then I get to the other part. Let's go in circles upward for the bronzer. And then I'm just looking at my mirror to make sure I blended. This side always looks darker and it's harder to blend. So that's that side. This is this side. And if Bare Minerals wants to sponsor me, great. This is not a sponsored video. This is just me doing my makeup with using these products that I always use. So I use Bare Minerals and I use Elf. So if they want to sponsor me, great, but this is not a sponsored video. So that's how I do a bronzer and all that. I know it's like not the best blending job because I would have a beauty blender. But yeah. But it works. It's a joke. And then next thing I do, so I have this Bare Minerals in. It's Bare Minerals Highlighter. And the color is free. Um, so I have two highlight brushes that I use. I don't know which one I'm going to do this right now, but, yeah. So I have this one that's Elf Highlighting Brush. I know normally highlighting brushes are not round, which is why I also have this BH Cosmetics Number 3 brush. I'm probably going to use this at first because it gives me a better glow. And then I will use the other brush if I have to. See that? It gives like a really nice glowy look. Yeah, I just see you do this. I like my whole nose to be highlighted, and then I'm just going to blend it. And that's how I do highlight, and then I'm just going to blend it a little bit. So it's not as much on my nose. So that's how I do my face part. And then I will get to my oh, wait, I'm gonna put these back. That's not the right brush. That's the brush. And then I'm gonna do my eyes. My eye makeup is my favorite. No joke, I love doing my eye makeup. So the brush I use is the Elf Eyeshadow C brush. These actually, oh. um, I got all the like sparkly Elf brushes like this in a package last year. It was around by Friday. It was a good deal. So I don't know. They might have it 
Christmas, something similar every year around like Thanksgiving, Christmas time, like New Year's and all that. So I got this 2018 going into 19. A year ago. And so my color eyeshadow that I use, it's the Ulta eyeshadow. Looks like that. The color is whatevs. Um, yeah, this is my favorite like one. And it's really clumpy right now. Oh, that is oh that's just fuzz. That's annoying. So I just put it on my eye. It's like a natural color. It's like a shimmery, goldy, cream color. Don't want to drop it because it breaks easily. So, I'm going to go like that. So, that's how I do my eyeshadow part. Then, wait for it. Put on my eyeliner, shimmer, there's my mascara. I don't know what my partner is, I don't know, like, what this stuff is, if I miss that, I don't even know what I do with it, oh, that's right in front of me, okay, so, I'm gonna do my brows, I don't really fill them in, usually, I'm just gonna brush them and sculpt them. That's how I do my brows. I literally just use this and sculpt them. Sometimes I fill them in, but that's like for like weddings and stuff. I don't usually fill my eyebrows in. Then I use, oh, and that was just like the elf eyelash and brow wand. That's what it is. So it's just like a wand. Yeah. Um. And the eyeliner uses the Ulta Automatic Liner. This color is matte black. There's so many colors you can choose from. You can do a colored liner if you want. But like I said, with my allergies, I'm just doing this. So I'm going to look in my mirror, so and I'll show you guys what it looks like after. I am horrible at eyeliner. So that's that eye. That actually looks fine. I'm gonna have to fix it a little bit with this. With one of my brushes I use. Um, but yeah. Now to my right eye. Oh. And I have a trick I'm going to show you guys if it is too thick. If you ever, like, when you're doing it, your eyeliner on top and it's too thick, I have a trick. So like oh. 
It's like that. It's obviously too thick for my liking. And what I do is I will get my eyeshadow. I'm going to use a finger. Get some on there. And just rub it over. So it's like I still have eyeliner on, but it's not as much. And do it to the other eye too. Like that. And then what I do is I put my mascara on. And I use the Maybelline The Falsies in black. This is very black. Yep. And then, this is my mascara look and all that. My dad's gonna say this look is too much, that I have too much makeup on. Um, trust me, compared to other people I've seen in public, I do not have too much on. In fact, I might not even have enough of So, yeah, and now I'm going to just take my hair and stuff it up. I'm not using that brush, I'm going to use this brush. Alright, so that's my makeup tutorial. I still have to do my hair and get ready. But, yeah. So that's that for you guys. Thanks for watching. And here is the final look of my makeup. It does look like a lot, but it's not as much as it seems, I promise. And then I put on baby lips. Let me see if I have one in the drawer. I to put a new one, but that's fine. Um, so I use the Maybelline baby lips. And cherry me, and this is what it looks like. So, yeah. Now, um, get on this video, uh, because I have to curl my hair and get dressed. So, yeah. Dang, my hair is like really fluffy right now. It's really full and kind of long. It actually looks, it doesn't look as long as it is when it's straight, it's really long. But yeah, it doesn't look super long right now, but I promise it's long. Um, yeah, I'm just doing randomness. But anyways, comment below what other videos you want me to do. Like this video. Also comment a one for McDonald's. A two for Taco Bell, three for Burger King, and a four for Raising Canes for where you guys want me to do, um, I'm going to do a letting the person in front of me decide what I eat challenge, just one meal, 
and I'm letting you guys pick the rest chart of this four. Just do one, two, three, or four. And yeah, whoever one gets the most comments or votes or whatever is the one I'm going to go to. So yeah. Bye guys. Make sure you still have. Make sure I post notifications on. That's about it. Bye.